Hey, better late than never. Nancy Pelosi finally thought it was safe enough to let the President of the United States deliver the State of the Union address in the Capitol. So he came and he delivered a stem winder of a speech this week. Second only in length to Bill Clinton's 2000 State of the Union speech. But except for the most virulent Trump haters, like the Democrat women who all wore white for some reason that still makes no sense to me, most analysts gave him really high marks for both content and the ever elusive tone. Now the ladies in white must not be Southern ladies because they would have known that proper Southern ladies don't wear white until Easter and only before Labor Day. Plus, had they been proper Southern ladies, they would have never been so rude as to refuse to stand for a 10-year-old fighting cancer. Or lines uttered by the President that we ought to work together to make America great, not for Republicans or Democrats, but for the American people. In fact, had they been proper Southern ladies, they would have stood for the President in respect for his office, no matter how much they despised him. And they would have said, bless his heart, throughout the whole speech. Now, do you know what it means when a Southern woman starts or ends a sentence with, bless your heart? Here's what it means. It means you're about to be gutted like a deer. <laughs> but she's gonna do it smiling and serving you pecan pie and sweet tea. Yeah, the only thing that got them off their seats was when he actually cheered for them. Yep, they may not stand for a D-Day veteran, a Holocaust survivor, or a 10-year-old cancer survivor, but they will sure stand up for themselves. Yeah. I mean, in the speech, the president outlined a way forward to build a border wall to protect Americans. And to illustrate the need, he introduced families of those killed by illegals who wouldn't have even been in the country had we taken seriously control of the border. Now, for me, one of the president's most powerful moments was his full-throated defense of human life and his bold and unapologetic rebuke of the appalling practice of late-term abortion of full-term babies and then actually killing them after they're born. I'm gonna tell you something, folks, no president ever has spoken with such moral clarity as President Trump on the repugnant and savage notion of killing babies for convenience. Just never done before. Now, to their credit, there were some Democrats who actually applauded and even stood when the president was extolling that we have the lowest ever unemployment numbers for African Americans, Hispanics, and women. But for the most part, the opposition party stayed stuck in their seats as if they had run out of preparation H, and it just hurt too much to stand and sit down all over again. And poor Bernie Sanders sat with such a scowl on his face that you had to wonder if he gulped a mustard milkshake with pickle chunks just before the speech. And, of course, there sat Elizabeth Warren, who looked much more pale-faced than the American Indian that she fraudulently claimed to be on her application for admittance to the Texas bar. That revelation reportedly has her rethinking getting into the presidential primary. But in a gracious show of kindness, President Trump has offered to have her lead the Bureau of Indian Affairs. <laughs> and for his part, President Trump rose to the occasion and acted, well, presidential. And he offered more than an olive branch, but the entire olive tree. Of course, if something doesn't give in the next few days, we could be right back at another government shutdown, or the president could declare a national emergency, which the caravans are truly becoming, and he could build a wall to protect the American people, even if the House Democrats had rather hide behind their comfortable walls and let you fend for yourself. And one other thing, if you wondered why all those Democrat women dressed in white skedaddled, even before the president left, which is very much against protocol. It was because they all got a text saying that Penny's white sale had been extended for another week. 